the third. Down it went. If you could plan, I mean, the absolute worst case scenario high-rise mission, I mean, you had it on 9-11. On there were numerous secondary explosions taking place in that building. It was con there were continuous explosions. Most people have never seen this angle of the first collapse at the World Trade Center on 9-11 simply because there isn't much to see. The action is hidden behind WTC-7 and the other tower. But what's important in this clip isn't what we can see, it's what we can hear. We can clearly hear an explosion. And that's where this rabbit trail begins, ladies and gentlemen. Most of the videos of the first building collapse are edited so that you cannot hear the explosion. Here's an example. In that FOIA NIST clip, they jumped right into the collapse so that you wouldn't notice the boom. And in this chopper clip released to the public, they skipped right over the initiation sequence and jumped into the scene after it's pretty much done. And so that brings us back to this first clip. It's our opinion that they brought the chopper right over the towers to help mask the sound of the explosion and to blow as much smoke right into the angles being used by cable television. Oh yes, there are so many things left unexplained when it comes to 9-11. <laughs> Imagine the explosive force necessary to blow a person straight out of a window. And it's just that window without any of the other windows or floors being affected. 9-11 deserves a second look. Not only for those that went through it, but for the millions of lives that have been affected ever since. Because if an explosion brought those towers down, then the whole thing's a mass deception. Remember, the people that told you about WMDs in Iraq were the ones who told you who did what on 9-11. Investigate 9-11, and 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.